What does authentic Christian leadership look like to you? Are the qualities outlined in Titus chapter 1 still applicable to our modern world? What steps can we take to safeguard the truth of the gospel in our lives and our communities? Hello and welcome to A Daily Purpose, an Our Given Purpose podcast. I'm Tori Slaughter, your host and Bible study teacher. Join us as we journey through the wisdom of Titus chapter 1 and uncover its profound insights. We invite you to reflect on these questions as we explore the enduring principles found within this chapter. Let's dive in. Turn with me in the scriptures to Titus chapter 1 and let's read verses 1 through 4. Paul, a bondservant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledgement of the truth which accords with godliness, in hope of eternal life which God, who cannot lie, promised before time began, but has in due time manifested his word through preaching, which was committed to me according to the commandment of God our Savior. To Titus, a true son in our common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Welcome to Bible Study, Navigating Faith and Leadership. Before we dive into Titus chapter 1, I believe it's essential to understand the broader context of this letter. The Apostle Paul penned Titus to his dear friend and fellow laborer in Christ, Titus. Titus was a trusted and capable leader within the early Christian community. The letter is both an encouragement to Titus and a practical guide for establishing strong and Christ-centered leadership within the churches on the island of Crete. So Titus chapter 1 sets the stage by addressing the importance of leadership qualifications, sound doctrine, and the roles of leaders within the church. It serves as a foundational passage for the rest of the letter which covers topics such as living in obedience, maintaining good works, and demonstrating a life transformed by God's grace. Now let's focus on Titus 1, a passage that should resonate deeply with all of us today. Leadership Qualifications In Titus chapter 1, verses 5-9, through the Apostle Paul provides a clear framework for the qualifications of a leader within the church. He emphasizes characteristics such as blamelessness, self-control, hospitality, and a love for what is good. These qualities serve as a timeless blueprint for leadership, reminding us that true leaders should embody a Christ-like character, humility, and a servant's heart. Countering False Teaching The Apostle Paul warns Titus about the influence of false teachers in Crete. In verses 10 through 16, he describes these individuals as insubordinate, empty talkers, and deceivers. It's a poignant reminder of the need to discern and counter false teachings in our own time. In this world of competing philosophies and worldviews, we are called to stand firm on the unchanging truth of the gospel. Leadership's role in correction. Leaders within the church are entrusted with the responsibility of correcting and rebuking. Titus is charged with silencing those who spread falsehoods and lead others astray. In our roles as leaders and mentors, we must not shy away from addressing challenging issues with love and truth. Sound Doctrine At the heart of this chapter is the importance of sound doctrine, which forms the foundation of Christian faith. The Apostle Paul underscores the significance of teaching the truth with unwavering conviction. Sound doctrine not only informs our faith, but also equips us to live lives of godliness, truth, and grace. Titus chapter 1 offers us insight into the qualities of Christian leadership, the need to confront false teachings, and the indispensable role of sound doctrine in our lives today. 
So dear brothers and sisters, as we navigate our own faith journeys, may we emulate the character of leaders described in this chapter and continue to stand for the unwavering truth of the gospel. In the remaining chapters of Titus, we are further encouraged to live in obedience, maintain good works, and let God's transformative grace shape our lives. This letter is a timeless treasure chest. It is a guide so that as we seek out our faith authentically and lead others towards grace and truth of Christ, we can do so with God's vision in mind. Amen. Amen. Before we move on, let's pause for this brief announcement. Hey there, we've got something special for you that's bound to elevate your daily journey with us. But first, let me ask you this. Do you have a friend, a family member, or a colleague who could use a little more inspiration and purpose in their life? Well, we've got just the solution for you. That's right. We're launching the Invite a Friend Challenge right here on A Daily Purpose, the podcast, and we want you to be part of it. Here's how it works. Simply invite someone you care about to join you on this incredible journey through the one-year Bible reading plan. Imagine the profound impact you can make in someone's life by introducing them to the wisdom, insights, and daily devotionals that have been transforming your life. It's a chance to connect on a deeper level and share meaningful conversations. And there's more. Don't forget to visit www.OurGivenPurpose.com to connect with our residency of devotional contributing writers and get email updates so you don't miss anything this ministry is doing. But wait, there's even more excitement coming your way. Have you heard about our live series on Facebook? The month of October, Momentum Matters to Your Mission. Join us as we live stream this power-packed show that airs every Monday through Friday at 5.30 a.m. So here's the plan. Invite a friend, connect with our devoted devotional writers, subscribe to OurGivenPurpose.com, and join us on Facebook for Momentum Matters to Your Mission. Together, we can make every day purposeful and meaningful. Thank you for being part of this purposeful ministry where we take you on a journey from revival to spiritual maturity. Now, let's turn our attention back to A Daily Purpose, an Our Given Purpose podcast. Guiding Scripture, Titus chapter 1, verses 8 through 9. Rather, he must enjoy having guests in his home, and he must love what is good. He must live wisely and be just. He must live a devout and disciplined life. He must have a strong belief in the trustworthy message he was taught. Then he will be able to encourage others with wholesome teaching and show those who oppose it where they are wrong. Day 299, Maturity by Contributing Devotional Writer Joshua Slaughter How many of us are willing to allow people into our homes? Our homes often represent our beliefs. I certainly know how my home will be. Let's dive into the verse, he must love what is good. Hmm, well, what defines good? It's a definition that changes depending on the person. So I'll provide my explanation. Good is doing something in a way that makes other people happy. That's a reasonably accurate definition. Living a devout and disciplined life is one filled with choices. Righteousness to God is relatively easy to understand. But what about a disciplined life? Is it living set apart and on the narrow path? Are you putting your best foot forward each day? While you may waver from time to time through God's grace, returning to holiness is so much easier. A strong belief in the trustworthy message. Things don't get easier in life. We'd all like to think or like to believe that it's true, but it's always more complex. Throughout life, you get more responsibility. You get more people and situations and how you handle it matures you as a person. Yes, 
things are going to get complicated in life. Isn't it great that we can give it all over to God in prayer? That's maturity. We can become a better version of ourselves as we imitate those who are imitating Christ and we seek the Lord for ourselves. Day 299, Maturity, by Contributing Devotional Writer, Joshua Slaughter. Yes, life is filled with choices and we do have God's word to help us navigate all of the challenges so that we can become a better version, the version that God sees and wants us to become. Amen? Amen. This is why A Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional offers you the perfect chance to initiate a conversation about God's word. We are deeply grateful to you for sharing this podcast with your friends and family. We'd like to thank our many sponsors and our Patreons, whose donations help us to provide this valuable content. If you feel led to contribute financially and become part of the Our Given Purpose ministry, please visit OurGivenPurpose.com. Your contribution will help us spread God's message and connect with people all over the world. Remember, you have seeds to sprinkle, and don't lose sight of the ones falling on you. Where will they grow? By the road and shallow soil in the thickets? Or will they find a home in good soil to flourish and produce a good work? What God has begun in you, he will complete. Have faith and be bold. You've just heard a daily purpose, an hour-given purpose podcast.